when you want to, to build some questions for a Moodle quiz, one of the handiest tools that's available uh, to serve as a template is an Excel spreadsheet. So I have a spreadsheet here that has it's called a gift maker that allow you to create up to 100 questions. So if you want to create questions for a Moodle quiz, you can do it via Moodle itself where you go in and type in each question one at a time. But that's quite time consuming, very laborious. So instead, this Excel template, this gift maker template is one of many similar templates you'll find on the internet that will, will speed up the process of creating questions that you can then upload to Moodle, which you can then use in a quiz. So what I've done here is I have written uh, a series of five questions, all with a Westmead theme on them. Uh, some of the answers, I'm not sure if they're correct or not. I hope they are. And what I'm going to do is use those questions for a quiz later on in Moodle. So you've downloaded the, the gift maker quiz. I'm going to make the template rather. I'm going to make a copy of it available on our Moodle introduction site. And then you fill in the questions uh, as shown here or similar or other questions of your own creation. And when you finish writing your questions, you hit this button here to create a gift file. And when you create the gift file, it basically takes the, the data in the Excel file and puts it in a certain format that will say mix it Moodle friendly. OK, so when we, hit, when we ask to make the gift, gift file, uh, a dialog box will open up where you can give this file a name. And you, when you give the file a name, that will be the file you'll upload to Moodle rather than the Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to store this on my desktop. And I'm going to give it a name. We'll call it uh, Westmead GAA Moodle Quiz. Moodle Quiz Questions. So when I create the gift file, what, what, the, what happens in the process is simply it takes the five questions and puts them into a textile type text file type format that uh, I can then use to upload to Moodle. So the next clip will demonstrate how to upload that file to Moodle and then how to create a quiz based on those questions. So that's the end of this short clip on using a gift file to create uh, to or to ease the creation of questions for Moodle. I suppose the last thing I'll say about it is that there's you can vary the questions. OK, as well as simple and multiple choice questions here I have in the first tab. There are other possibilities where you can put we can put in feedback to the questions where you can give five choices rather than four. There's matching pair questions. There's true false questions and short answer questions. But initially, this gift file is just going to be used to demonstrate how to upload um, some questions to Moodle uh, for a quiz later on.